Hello, family. Happy day on December 7th, 2023. So I wanted to take a moment to do a reflection. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for wishing me a happy birthday. And I want to thank the Lord God Almighty for making it, uh, making me get to age 50. So <laughs> believe it or not, I am 50 years old and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm extremely happy to be here today um, to celebrate this birthday in peace and in gratitude and in joy. But as I was going through my business today, um, I reflected back to 2018. In the summer of 2018, a woman approached me. Uh, it was kind of a weird situation. I was at Walmart. I was having a really bad day, pretty depressed, and was just looking for something small that would make me feel better, whether it was a pair of earrings or a small necklace. And I also wanted to get my mom a present. It was a hard time. Uh, my finances were a wreck. My, my mom was dying. My relationship with my ex-husband at the time was brutal very hard life and I felt so alone and like there was no place to turn to and all I wanted was just one little nice thing so I'm walking along around Walmart and I see this woman beautiful African-American woman well-dressed beautiful skin and she caught my eye and she she kept staring at me and I thought, oh Lord, uh, if y'all don't know, I have a tendency to attract uh, lipstick lesbians. And I was like, I hope it's not that kind of situation. <laughs> so I looked at her and I was like, let me just mind my own business right now. And I went around Walmart and she just kept staring at me and she was following me. And I said, what is going on? But I was ready. I was excited. I was like, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Give me a distraction today. Lord, it's fine. And she came up to me and she said, I'm sorry, but I have to be obedient. And I'm like, was this some sort of weird uh, thing? What, what do you mean obedient? I don't, I don't understand. And the world is filled with interesting people. So I was like, hmm, not sure what you mean by that. Uh, but what she ended up saying was, I see the favor of God on you and a year from now, two years from now, your life is going to be very different. She said, you're going to look different. You're going to think different. You're going to live in a different place. You're going to have a different life. And immediately, as soon as she said that fear struck me part of it, because in my journey with the Lord, anytime there's some great reward, there is great suffering before. And I was already suffering and I didn't want to suffer anymore. And I thought, Lord, I do not want to go through this suffering. But if it is your will, I will do it. Within less than four months, my mother passed away. Uh, my ex-husband was no longer in therapy. And he was in a level of rage that could not be explained. My relationship with my brother had deteriorated. And the friendships that I thought were solid, I found were never on solid ground. They were, they were fractionated. They were, they were convenience. It was more about the entertainment of being in my presence than actually being a source of help, um, of sustainable consideration over time. So I ended up within a year, <laughs> uh, I ended up having to call the police on my ex-husband, um, losing everything again for the second time. Lost my mom, lost our Uncle Mac, lost our Uncle William. 
it was all over. And I knew that this was the time. This was the pressing. This is when the wine is created. And we say, Wendy, what are you talking about? Well, wine is beautiful and it's delicate and it's tasty. Some people don't like it, but there's a lot of work that goes into wine and you have to press the grapes and you have to make sure you, you plant it correctly in the right soil. It's, there's a lot that goes into creating wine. And I felt like I was definitely in the wine press. I was definitely under absolute demonic attack. And I sustained that attack for the next two years. Then in the between, here comes COVID. <laughs> here comes all this kind of world disorder. And I remember praying to the Lord. I was so broken and so tired. I just looked up and I said, Jesus, I trust in you. I had no idea where my life was going. I had no idea what was going to happen to me. And you guys know the story from there. I left, I left Georgia in 2019. I left everything I had except for what could I, I could pack in my car and what I could actually pick up by myself to get to the storage unit because I had no help. I had no support. The only thing I had was our Lord Jesus Christ. That was it. That's the only, only person, only, only spirit that could sustain me. And from there, the miracles happen. Um, I've told you a story. My high school sweetheart and I reunited. And he was an incredible source of healing for me and patience and selfless sacrifice, which he continues to this day. I ended up marrying him. And the blessings that have come, I couldn't even tell you that that was going to be a reality. I couldn't even believe it myself when I started to see what happened. But the Lord restored the years the locusts have eaten. My life is restored tenfold. And I'm just grateful. And so here I am, 50 years old, and I look back at how the Lord has built me how the Lord has transitioned my life into a life that is filled with impact and not necessarily on a material level, although that came along with just doing what he wanted me to do. The love, the friendship, the relationships I have now, she was right. God's prophet was right. She was an angel sent from above. My life is different. I look different. I think different. And I am grateful and amazed every day at the life that I live. So thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, I can't even explain how grateful I am to make it to age 50 and to have my life restored in the way that it has by our Lord Jesus Christ. Just sharing that for now. Hope that brings you joy today. Hope that makes an impact into your life today. It is never too late. If you keep your focus on him, he will restore all the darkness into light, all the brokenness into joy. Thank you for listening. Love y'all. Bye.